there this is rom wills coming back at you with yet another car video the players in the real world go against what is presented on social media oh man that's a long one or even in the media in general what they show in movies and stuff because the players in the real world and they really don't look like who you think they are and stuff. Because I was thinking about it, just like I was talking about uh, my experience with beautiful women. Um, over the decades, I've known several players. Indeed, my work comes from observing them. You know, my book ain't just what Rom does. Because that would be unfair because for it to work for somebody, well, you would have to be my height, my look, complexion, race, economic background, IQ level, all of that stuff for it to work for you. Now, it's a base, it's a amalgamation of observations that I make to this minute. Whenever I come across a real player, I'll pay attention. I'll throw out a few questions. Indeed, uh, there have been some who've taken a um, questionnaire that I presented. And... You know, the players in the real world, you know, it goes against, well, I ain't going to say a totally against, but it don't. they don't always resemble, in fact, very rarely resemble who people think they are. Like, you know, people are watching some movies, yeah, hey, that's a player movie, that's a player movie. Mm -hmm. Not really, you know, not really. And indeed, even with that whole looks, money, and status thing that people try to promote, if you look at the players in the real world, like real world, like men who are getting multiple women, who like would be called fuck boys or something like that in the real world, you know, they don't have any money, <laughs> they don't have any status, and it looks all right. And I thought about that, uh, you know, I had a woman, uh, she was talking about a guy that she thought was sexy, and she said, she specifically said, and this was in a comment on a video a couple videos ago, she specifically said he wasn't ugly, but he wasn't particularly handsome, he's in the middle. That's actually where most, most, play, most players, as far as their looks, are going to be average to maybe above average, you know? Because I'm going to tell you what, I've actually, you know, just like I've known players, I've known everybody over the years. I've encountered everybody and everything. A lot of guys who, like a lot of guys, uh, you got content creators, they'll use pictures of models and stuff. But the models I've known in real life, and this is regardless of race, I can count on one hand how many of them you could call a player. And I've known, I've known several, I've known a, a few scores over the years and stuff. Usually... If they even liked women, oh, I'm being real on that. If they even liked women, usually they get like, they'll get an attractive woman. I give them that. They'll actually get an attractive woman. So I'll give them that much. But their counts otherwise would be kind of low. Seriously, I've known several. Where you'd be thinking they got all these women on standby and stuff. And uh, they'll even get many women who find them attractive. But their actual body counts by their own admission will be low. And usually they get a good they get a good fine woman and they be good with it. Which makes sense. If you actually get a dime or something, why would you want to like mess with other women? Seriously. But when I talk when I've seen the players and understand they ain't just by what they said, most of them. Now, there's been a few, you know, I ain't seen them in action, but I could tell by certain words, which I don't give away because Honestly, I don't want any content creators like taking them and just saying, oh yeah, I'm a player, I did this, this, and this. That's how I know. I can just listen to somebody talking, I know what's up. I'll just sit back and just listen. And I'll nod my head, and as long as they ain't disrespectful or something, I just let it go. But, you know, it's just like they say, game recognized game. It's like if somebody said, oh yeah, they're a real good football player, I'll listen to how they describe what they did in games, and I'll know if they really played football, you know? So it's the same thing with getting women. But, you know, when you look at the guys who actually get the play, it, it really goes against what's in social media, major media. You know, the dudes, you know, the dudes ain't going to be, like, by the women's estimation. Like I said, usually average to maybe above average. 
even talking about body game, they'll be in decent shape. They look like they work out in the gym, but anybody who actually goes to the gym, they realize very few people, unless you have some special gym where they just can have uh, like guys who are going to be in like fitness model competitions or natural bodybuilding, they ain't going to be like super cut. They're going to be in decent shape though, you know. They're going to have uh, what Cousin t -talk calls that roughneck type of build. You know, look like they, uh, I would say the majority, overwhelming majority, will look like uh, they might be a police officer, a construction worker, fireman, built like that. Not a super build, but still decent build. Not totally scrawny, not grossly overweight. Like a decent build and stuff. And, you know, of course, each one, you're going to have a, something particular about them, you know. You know, some gonna be real charismatic. Uh, some will. You you get a, you get one, a few, here and there, that could be called like a pretty boy. To be honest, see, contrary to popular belief, a lot of so-called pretty boys they'll get some attention. Women will say they're cute, but they don't be fucking like that. So you'll get, but you will get a few there. You know. As far as being very muscular, a lot of muscular guys like that end up becoming diesel type of men. Diesel type of men are like male sex workers or something. They're almost in a separate category. But, you know, they have a good body build, a good one. And that's why I emphasize body games so much. And, you know, generally a cool personality in general. Generally, um, you know, willing to, in general, in general, extroverted and stuff. You know, they could they could talk to any woman, you know, and just to be clear, that's not a mouthpiece. That's not a mouthpiece, it's just regular conversation, which is all you need sometimes. And it goes totally against what people think. Cause see, one of the things I peeped, especially like online spaces like this, people use like something they found on TikTok or some video what somebody say, but you gotta take that with a grain of salt. How do you know that they're not acting? I'm serious. How do you know? How do you how do you know? Are you in a position to see women interact with them when the, when the cameras are off? Because this is how I know stuff. This is how I know who the players are. A lot of players they they don't have nothing about them. They look like they're a player, but then you're in a position to see the women interact with them, or the women sneak looks, or shoot. If you can get real quiet, get the women comfortable. They talking about it and everything. Now, just to be clear, yeah, if you like, you know, you that, you know, super handsome, muscular, tall, all of that, yeah, get some attention. But let's just be real out here. Let's just be real. You're talking a tiny percentage of the population. So, but there's more players out there than that. And they ain't going to have all of that stuff, yet they getting sex. And that's in the real world. Like I said, in the real world. Like, I, that's why I tell people, like, on my last video, there were a couple people say, hey, you know what, Ron, I did what you said, and I thanked them. I thanked them because I said, that's all I say. Go out here. See what's up. Get to know people. Don't be, like, so uh, introverted. Talk to people. Shoot. Y'all, there's a lot of dudes who might call themselves incel, and you got a dude on your job who fucked half the office. You know? You got a dude on the job that fucked half the office. So it's like, damn, you know? And they, you be thinking, well, how he getting it? How he getting it, you know? But I thought on, you know, the media says, well, it should be this guy or, or that guy or anything. In fact, uh, a book I've talked about a lot, Swoon, Swoon, where this uh, university professor, she did a book about uh, historic and real womanizers. She said they don't always look like you think they do. They just got a skill. The main thing she said they had, though, the main thing, she focused mainly on charisma. There was only, like, a tiny... She didn't say anything about looks. She did mention body. And she said, yeah, a few of them look like something, but then a few of them look like, hmm, how he getting in it? You know? And that's just a real thing. If you're going to be real out here, if you're going to be real and deal with people, you want to see who gets it. Like another thing too. So I already said my average looking, decent bodies. Another thing, and a lot of guys don't really get. A lot of guys don't get this part, right? A lot of guys don't get this part. 
the average height of the players I've met in the real world was about 5'8". In the real world. Seriously. You'd be like saying, why are you getting high you get? That's why I said, but you know what? They were getting there. Someone was messing with women that were taller than them. Seriously, that's why I tell people, don't worry about it. Just get your best thing. See, everything I talk about, see, you know what I find interesting, right? What I find very interesting, when people try to go against it, they'll talk about some Tinder study or something like that. Um, one, on Tinder, men outnumber women nine to one. So if you got women on there, and they got not for every one woman, she got nine guys to choose from. Obviously, she's going to choose the best one. If it was reversed, like women outnumber men 10 to one, I mean, nine to one, the men are obviously going to choose the better looking ones. Only way you could get a fair estimate on who the women going to choose, really fair, is if everything was equal. Because then you get some average looking women, even some ugly women, you know, well, hold up. You know, this handsome guy ain't responding. Let me go over here. But if they got, a, a, a you know, they got a, a buyer's market and everything, well, shit. Of course, they're going to go for the best. If you go to a car lot or something, you're going to get the best car, right? So that's not a poor, that's not a really a good uh, estimate. Especially since there's, on, there's not, um, you know, a majority percentage of the population or intended. But people will use that. But I want to hear, see, if anybody detracts from me anything I'm saying, I want to hear, not even what you say, tell me where you live, tell me what experience you have, give me some stories, something. I've not had that yet. Somebody say, you know what, they'll say like, they'll say like, well, this is what I've seen. But if anybody can say that, tell me where you've seen it. Because I've, I've known players, shoot, I've had players buy my books. I get players who are coming, hitting me up for consultations. And I'm saying that because I see a lot of guys, they're not really understanding the game and really what it is. And when I say the game, I don't mean any trickery or anything, but man gets woman. And really, it comes down to who a woman wants to fuck. And I've said several times, I've said several times, did several videos on it. Sex appeal and looks are two different things. Like a woman, she'll look at a guy, you know what, he ain't gonna get no modeling contract. She'll even say, you know, he's ugly, but he's sexy as shit. You know? And it could be his attitude. It could be his joint. It could just be how he is. He just got that look in his eyes like he'll fuck the shit out of her. He'll make her come. That's how women be, that's the one thing these players have in common. In fact, the women have said that. They'll say, well, he ain't all that, but his ass can fuck. <laughs> I've had some women say that too. I told you about the time a woman said that about me. He said, he looked like he can fuck, you know? I had a woman tell me one time, well, you're a little overweight, but I know, I know you will fuck the shit out of me. She told me that to my face. So, yeah. <laughs> and that's the real deal. See, let me tell you something now. And here's a big problem with a lot of commenters and they trying to say who a woman want. You notice they never talk about sex. Think about that. You notice what they trying to say and everything they be saying they never talk about sex. Peep that. Peep that game. All right? So, anyway, though, got to get ready to get in here, get some food and everything, and get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>